everybody. Welcome back. We're uh, out here. We've got um, uh, Lichnochromus acuticeps, uh, Malawi gar. We're moving them to bigger water, but while we're doing it, we're going to go ahead and see if any of the females are holding. If so, then we're going to go ahead and pop them. So we set up, I, normally, we wouldn't set a tray up here just to move them. We would just net them out and let them go. But since we are going to check them, so give me one or two, at least two of these, one here and one over there. We're going to go ahead and um, check as we go and then put the fish in bigger buckets as we move them. These guys are, uh, it's really not a, we don't have this set up as a breeder pool, but since there's so many of them here, we decided we'll take a look, see if anybody's holding, pop them if they are, and then move them. So anyway, here we go. Now this is a nice male here. He's probably been doing some breeding. Well, this is not a Lichichromus acutisept. This is somebody else. Okay. So most of these guys, if they're holding, I'll show you. But so far, nobody. Tony, if you grab somebody holding, just hand them to me. Um, and we'll see what we're going to do about popping them. There's no, uh, we don't know that this is not, like I said, this is not a breeder set up tank. So there's, we're not saying to ourselves, oh, we've got to have babies, but it's just something that they're here. We might as well take them instead of lose track of them. There you go. So those, we're going to take those because Tony's got an ingenious system set up to do the eggs that you've probably seen before if you've seen some of our other episodes. And it works great. Normally we don't take what we call, we call these guys in this bucket, we call them tails and heads. Normally we wouldn't take those, but since he's developed this system in the warehouse, we're going to do it. Here's more. I think these are bigger babies. Let's put it over here. So to, right here. Okay. Here you go. Yep, these are what we can these are normal what we would take size-wise. But that way that we know they're gonna be um, ready to go. We don't take we've started Tony started doing this special way. He does it mainly for the fish that we want them to turn right around quickly and, and breed. Okay, that's all in this net. So we're going to stain it again. This is a, this is an 8 by 16 foot concrete vault. We poured these things many, many years ago. Uh, frame. So uh, most of our tanks are based on 8 foot pieces of plywood. So this was a uh, a form that has had a metal bar, a screw going through it, and then we just pour the base of it, come back in about a week, and then pour the slab on top. So we would pour base slab, base slab, base slab. Basically, that's what's out there. So you got 16 by 16, which are again just a combination of eight, eight, eight foot pieces of plywood. You got these 8 by 16s. We do have 10 by 20s, but we, I think we bought some marine plywood, 10 foot at one time when we were doing those. So, um, we're gonna, this whole tank is getting moved to a 16 by 16, along with some other cubicets that are over there. So that, we use a seine right there, that's a four foot deep. Um, and it's probably about a 16 foot seine. And we just pull it along here and the fish, they're, they're going to go over, under, around it. They're going to try to get away from it, but we'll, we'll end up getting them all out of here. There's not enough fish in here for us to leave it in here. It's not economical to have this few fish in, it, in a tank. And we've been working this tank, but by that I mean coming out here and pulling fish for orders out of this thing. So it's probably started off with several hundred fish, and now we're down to what we got here. Alright, let's see what we got going here. But these 
are a nice fish. They, they are, uh, they get to be huge. Those are little cute babies. They get to be huge. Um, and some of these guys, I think I've heard they can get 12 inches easy. We don't ever see that. We very rarely see that here. Because we're either selling them out small or at this size. Not every store that we deal with. Uh, Tamla, can you deal with that fish right there on the deck behind me? But we're not, these are not our breeder population. These are not our breeders. So I'm not upset or anything that we're not getting very many babies. We have a tank of these that are set up as a breeder tank, which is normal breeder tank of ours is probably two or three big males and probably 30 um, females. And these guys probably, with this many fish in here and this big of a thing, they probably, when they're spawning, there's probably a lot of action going on. Fish coming around, eating the bait, eating the egg. So that's what happens when we do this. But it's very difficult. These fish learn how to ignore, how to get under the net, get around the net. It's frustrating sometimes. Because as big as they are, you think they would all end up in the net every time we stand, but it's not happening. There's probably how many fish more left in there? Twenty? Yeah. Probably about twenty fish. And we're not gonna they probably won't all get caught this round either. So we just kind of keep doing it and doing it and doing it. After we finish doing it, we'll scrape this tank um, sides for the scraper. And then we'll set it up and hopefully within a week it'll be full of more babies of some kind or another. We'll be always looking for room here. Even with all this out here, it's always a matter of room. This tank right here uh, is our exo breeders. They're great fish. We kind of lost track of them for a while there. I think I had a bird attack on the breeder. Rick, grab your net and then help us pull this thing Okay. All I'm going to do is reach down and grab the bottom of the net here and pull it to the wall so that these guys can't slip underneath it and I hold on the wall while they come up. Good. So this is basically how they would do this. Now, when, when they do, they, we don't normally have... I will. Um, tanks like this that are like we breed eight in an eight by sixteen. We breed um, the Masonite Go Labs because we sell them tremendous amounts. This got babies, yeah. but normally we don't breed a fish like this in this big of water because we the. We have a need for them, but we don't have, it's not like a DeMason or Go Lab where you got almost everybody wants to get them. This is a, not a specialty shop, but it is kind of for somebody who's into the, you know, the bigger meter fish. All right, Rick, well, we appreciate you taking the time with us this morning. Again, what, what was this fish that we were popping Lichna today? Lichnochromus acuticeps, and the um, common name is Malawi Gar, Malawi because Gar. of that weird, shape of the face so and they eat like that they're they're, they're that they go around on the bottom and sift through sand and stuff like that all right sounds good we'll see you next time thanks so much you Rick. got it